I've been enjoying mostly just driving, driving, walking, walking in all kinds of weather in Iceland. And I feel uh, a really strong connection to it, not just because it's wide open and it's beautiful and the sky isn't changing all the time. I feel very comfortable. I feel like I've been there before, you know. And I've heard other people say that, and they don't necessarily have to have be Scandinavian or of Scandinavian descent. But uh, there isn't anywhere that I didn't feel comfortable. Sometimes I was amazed and surprised by some very rough terrain. The first time was almost three years ago with my son, Henry. And it was his spring break. And like me, he likes, you know, the sagas and, and you know, Viking stories and all that. And I said to him, you know, maybe we could do something unusual if you want to go to a place I've always wanted to go. I was constantly thinking about these stories and these characters and the stories all the time and, and enjoying it. And sometimes the worse the weather, the more beautiful it looks, you know. Uh, I have never felt, no matter what I've been doing, what the weather is, any time I've been out in nature, real nature, I've never felt I've wasted one second. It's always worthwhile. It's always something going on. Even if you have a flat tire or you're late or you're tired, it doesn't matter. And uh, Iceland, I certainly felt immediately a connection. And that's what was exciting for me and my son to drive around Iceland where you it's, it, the history is alive. I think someone who lives in a city and goes to a beautiful place, you know, you get there and the first day, oh, that's beautiful. I have to take pictures, I have to capture this. But the, it actually takes a person who's in the city a day or two to really stop doing all this. You don't have to do anything. That's the point is you just have to be there. There is a certain amount of letting the landscape be what it is and trusting that just by virtue of seeing it with your own eyes, it's going to be personal.